If you think you're dumb, congratulations, you just proved you can think. <laughs> because the real fool is the one who never asks anything. You're not dumb, and I'm going to prove it to you right now. Every human brain, without exception, starts with the same foundation. No brain comes with a label that says smart or stupid. Physics shows us that the brain is just like any other muscle in your body. If you train it, it grows. If you neglect it, it weakens. There's no fixed destiny written somewhere saying one person was born a genius and another was born to fail. What actually exists are thought habits that either strengthen or weaken your mental power. Now, imagine you never trained one of your legs. What would happen? You'd probably look like those gym guys who only work out their arms and completely forget about leg day. <laughs> it would be weak, with no strength to run. But that wouldn't mean you were born without muscles. It would only mean you never trained them. The same thing happens with the brain. Most people simply don't train it the right way. They use their brain like a cheap calculator, not like a brilliant laboratory. That's why they feel slow, stuck, incapable. But the truth is, all it takes is changing the way you use your mind to realize you've got infinite potential inside you. Now pay close attention. The first thing you need to understand is that intelligence is not about memorizing facts. Intelligence is the ability to explain things in a simple way. The method is this. If you can't explain something to a child, you don't really understand it yet. And that's the first secret to proving you're not dumb. When you learn something, try to explain it out loud, as if you were teaching it. That's how you start working out your brain. Just don't forget to train your legs while you're at it, all right? <laughs> your brain is forced to organize the internal mess. It takes scattered bits of information like loose Lego pieces and has to build them into a coherent castle. This activates different areas, memory, language, creativity. It's as if regions that usually work separately suddenly come together in a grand orchestra. When you try to explain what you've learned, you're not just repeating it like a parrot. You're rewriting the knowledge inside your own head. And here's the key. If you want to learn any subject more easily, simplify it. The brain loves to turn everything into complications. It almost feels like the harder something sounds, the smarter a person thinks they are. But real intelligence is taking what's complicated and making it so simple that even a child can understand it. Want to see it in action? Take a look at this little monster of an equation. Beautiful, isn't it? Looks like something a NASA genius would scribble on a chalkboard. Just looking at it, most people freeze up and think, that's it, I'm dumb, I'll never get this. <laughs> but the truth is, what's really happening here is simple. All of that is nothing more than a complicated way of representing basic relationships between numbers. For example, right in the middle of all that chaos, you could say, this is just a fancy way of calculating the difference of two squares. And when you simplify it, it's really just x plus y. What looked like a mysterious equation is simply a sum in disguise. And that's the secret. When you simplify, the brain breathes. It understands the essence. Math isn't about memorizing giant formulas. It's about recognizing patterns. And the same goes for any field, physics, biology, finance. If you learn to search for the essence, the why behind things, suddenly everything becomes clear. No one is dumb when facing a hard problem. What we really have are bad explanations, messy and overcomplicated, that turn something simple into a maze. But when you force your mind to translate things into simple terms, you realize the brain was never the problem. The problem was always the way you were trying to learn. And it's not just in math. We simplify in physics, too. Someone walks in with authority and says, the law of inertia describes that a body in motion tends to remain in motion. Sounds complicated, right? Want me to simplify? It's just this. If you kick a ball, it keeps rolling until something stops it. <laughs> That's it. In biology, the same story. Someone says in a serious voice, photosynthesis is the biochemical process by which autotrophic organisms convert light energy. Phew, exhausting. Want the simple version? It's just the way plants invented to eat sunlight. Done. No mystery. And you know what's best about all this? This way of learning is actually more fun. Because let's be honest, traditional studying is boring as hell. It's like trying to memorize an entire phone book just to look smart. But when you learn to simplify, 
When you turn the complicated into something simple, that's when the real fun begins. That's the moment the genius is born, the one who enjoys asking questions, who smiles when discovering the why behind things, who takes pleasure in turning mystery into clarity. Learning is like playing, because when you're having fun, the brain doesn't see it as an obligation. It sees it as a game. And with games, we keep going. Have you noticed? You can play video games for hours without getting tired. But 15 minutes of a boring lecture feels like medieval torture. Why? Because games have challenge, curiosity, fun. When you bring that same spirit into your studies, you unlock a superpower. Imagine this. You take a tough math problem or some crazy concept in physics. And instead of thinking, oh my God, I'll never get this. You think, okay, how can I turn this into a joke? <laughs> how can I explain this to my 10 year old cousin and make him laugh? In that moment, you stop being a slave to studying and start becoming its master. And then something magical happens. You actually start looking forward to the next problem. You get curious. You start laughing at your own discoveries. <laughs> And it's at that exact point that the genius is born, when learning stops being an obligation and turns into fun. And here's the paradox. The secret of intelligence isn't memorizing answers, it's asking why. A person who asks too many questions might seem dumb to others. But what most people don't realize is that curiosity has been essential for every human discovery. If Isaac Newton hadn't asked, why did this apple fall from the tree instead of shooting up into the sky? Gravity might never have been formalized. Think about it. What everyone else saw as something ordinary, an apple falling, Newton turned into a question. And from that question came one of the most powerful laws in physics. Albert Einstein? He didn't create the theory of relativity because he memorized formulas. He started by asking, what if I could ride alongside a beam of light? What would I see? A crazy, almost childish question that any serious teacher would have called nonsense. But it was exactly that nonsense that opened the door to one of the most revolutionary theories in history. Even everyday inventions were born this way. Why does water heat up when it boils? Why can a piece of metal turn into an electric current? Why does sound move through the air? Every breakthrough that now feels obvious started with someone annoying the world by asking simple question. What most people call stupidity is really just the inability to ask. And what they call genius is nothing more than stubborn curiosity. Newton wasn't magical. Einstein wasn't superhuman. They were just stubborn enough to keep asking when everyone else was saying, we already know that, stop bothering us. And here's the turning point. Genius is born when you take seriously the questions everyone else ignores. If the apple falls, ask why. If the shadow moves, ask why. If a 500 ton airplane flies while a little bird drops dead from a tree, ask why. The more you let those stupid questions bother you, the closer you are to brilliance. And here's a truth almost nobody talks about. You're not dumb for asking. You're only dumb when you care too much about what other people think of you. Because that, deep down, is what kills curiosity. You wanted to raise your hand in class and ask, but then you thought, they'll laugh at me. They'll think I don't know anything. But guess what? It's exactly by not asking that you stay not knowing it. A genius is the person who simply doesn't care. He asks, he gets it wrong, he gets it right, he asks again, until he understands. And here comes a crucial point, emotional intelligence. There's no use in training your brain if you're still a slave to other people's opinions. A brilliant mind isn't just one that understands physics or math, it's one that understands itself. It's the kind of mind that doesn't get shaken by stupid criticism doesn't compare itself to the neighbor, and doesn't fall apart because someone said, that's obvious. Pay close attention now. Anyone who lives worried about judgment will never discover anything new. Every bold idea they have, their first thought is what their friends will say, what the family will say, what the experts will comment. The result? They spend their entire lives hiding their questions, and with them, hiding their true potential. You want to be seen as intelligent? then stop trying to look intelligent. Focus on being curious, on simplifying, on laughing at your own mistakes, and on learning quickly. That is far more rare and far more valuable than pretending to know everything. In the end, the real genius is not the one with ready-made answers, 
but the one with the courage to ask, the discipline to search, and the maturity not to care about the audience. The same people who laugh at you today for asking will applaud you tomorrow for discovering what they never had the courage to look for. So, what should you start doing today to train your mind like a genius? First, cultivate curiosity. Ask why about everything. There's no such thing as a stupid question. There's only the fear of looking stupid. And you already know, you're not dumb for asking, you're dumb for caring too much about what others think. Second, practice simple explanation. Every time you learn something, try to teach it out loud as if you were explaining it to a child. If you can't, it means you don't really understand it yet. Go back, simplify it, and explain again. That's the workout that truly strengthens your brain. Third, take action. Just thinking isn't enough. Solve problems, write, test your ideas. Action is the final exam that shows whether you truly understood or if you were just memorizing. Fourth, practice concentration. Stop letting yourself get distracted every five minutes. When you focus on one single thing, your mind works like a laser. Fifth, build self-confidence. Don't wait for applause. Every genius has been called crazy at some point. The difference is they kept going anyway. Curiosity plus simple explanation plus action plus concentration plus self-confidence. That is the manual that proves you were never dumb. You just needed to learn how to use your brain the right way. And remember this, inside your head, you carry the same kind of brain that wrote symphonies, that built rockets, that discovered gravity, that decoded DNA. You have a brain capable of finding the cure for cancer, of creating technologies that don't even exist yet, of transforming your life and the lives of millions of others. The problem was never you. The problem was believing you were limited, that you had no talent, that you weren't born a genius. But the truth is, the genius has always been inside you, waiting for you to stop being afraid to ask, to stop going silent in front of what you don't understand. Never forget, every time you ask why, you open a new door inside your mind. Each answer leads to another question, and it's in that endless path that the greatest ideas are born. The world is not driven by those who know all the answers. It is driven by those who have the courage to ask the right questions. So please, never stop asking why. Never let shame or judgment kill your curiosity. Because it's exactly that curiosity, that restless spark inside you, that can change everything. You're not dumb. You never were. You're an explorer. And your mind is the greatest unexplored territory that exists. Take care of it. Train it. Simplify. Focus. Trust. And keep asking, because every single why could be the beginning of the next great discovery. And now I want you to do something simple but powerful. Leave your comment down below. Write, I will never stop asking why. Declare it, because every word you write is a commitment to your own growth. And don't forget to like this video, because that shows it truly resonated with you. Subscribe to the channel to keep receiving content that challenges your mind and expands your worldview. Think about it. Maybe a single click today could be the start of a massive transformation in your life. So comment, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Because here you don't just get information, you get tools to think like a true genius.